Welcome back to another Sunday School Bible class. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're on a lesson entitled, Isaac Offered. Last time we talked about a man who had great faith. We said that faith is when someone believes God will do what he said he will do before he does it. God is pleased when we have faith because God wants us to believe what he says. God wants us to believe him. Abraham was a man of great faith. Last time we learned about Abraham and his wife, Sarah, who had no child and were promised a child by God. Abraham believed God's promise even when it seemed impossible for this child to be born. Abraham waited over 25 years for this child. God gave him a child when he was 100 years old. God also promised Abraham that this son Isaac will grow up and have a family and that family will grow and multiply and after many years and many generations they will grow into a great nation. When Isaac was finally born and Abraham was 100 years old, Abraham knew that God kept his promises. Abraham was very happy and he loved his son Isaac so much. He would teach his little boy about God and teach him how to build altars to God and how to pray to God and how to offer sacrifice. He would tell his son about the promise God made and how he will grow up to be a great nation someday. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how Abraham went through another great test of faith, believing God's promise. We've already learned how Abraham, by believing God's promise for a son, waited 25 years for his son Isaac to be born. Then, one day, God said to Abraham, Take your son your only son whom you love, and go to the mountain that I will show you, and I want you to offer him there on the altar as a sacrifice. What a hard thing to ask of Abraham! God wanted Abraham to take his only son Isaac, whom he loved, and take his life on the altar. Isaac was going to die. Abraham remembered that God had promised that Isaac would one day have a family which would grow and eventually become a great nation. If Isaac died, how could he have a family? Now Abraham knew God would not lie and that God can do anything and that God keeps his promises. So he figured God will bring his son back to life. So Abraham knew that God spoke to him, and when he obeyed God, God, he figured, would bring Isaac back to life to fulfill his promise to make of him a great nation. Abraham did not know that this was a test of his faith. Abraham got up the next morning and told his son Isaac that they had to go to a mountain to build an altar and offer up sacrifice to God. Isaac was a good, obedient son, so he went with his father Abraham to offer sacrifice as Abraham had said. The journey was three days long. Abraham took some of his servants with him to help them travel this long journey. When they got to the mountain, Abraham told the servants to wait down at the bottom of the mountain until he and his son Isaac came back. No one knew that Abraham was going to offer Isaac his son as the sacrifice. Not even Isaac knew what Abraham was going to do. Abraham did not tell Isaac what God told him. Abraham expected Isaac to be alive again when he came back to his servants. When they reached the top of the mountain, they built the altar. 
As Isaac looked around, he noticed something was missing. Isaac asked his father a question. Father, here is the altar and the wood and the fire, but where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Abraham said to his son, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for the sacrifice. Isaac did not really understand what his father meant, but accepted his father's answer without question. Then Abraham picked up his son Isaac in his arms and laid Isaac on the altar. Now Isaac knew that he was going to die. He was not afraid and he did not struggle to get free. He did not try to run away. He did not understand but he trusted his father because he loved his father and knew his father was a man of God. Abraham raised the knife over Isaac and was about to kill him when suddenly the angel of the Lord called out to Abraham and said, Abraham, don't kill Isaac. Because you have not kept your only son from me, because you believed my promise to make of him a great nation, I will bless you and your son greatly. God told Abraham that he was pleased that Abraham was willing to be obedient to such a hard command. Abraham rejoiced that he did not have to kill his son. Abraham then grabbed Isaac his son and hugged him, and they both rejoiced because of God's goodness. Then they saw a ram in the bushes, and they offered the ram up as a sacrifice to God instead of Isaac. God blessed Abraham to live many more years even though he was old. So Abraham lived to see his son grow up and to become a man and to get married. Abraham saw Isaac have a family. Abraham continued to always pray and believe God until the day he died. When we come back, we will find out about Isaac's family. Hope to see you at our next lesson. See you later. Bye-bye.